Okay, in this video tutorial I would like to try to do soft body in Cinema 4D. I'm hoping this will work without any problems. I would like to assign material. I just think what to assign. What is this? It looks quite interesting. I also get to texture my ball. Before I will do soft body simulation of uh, in projection. First of all, I have to use uh, cut selected edges. And then it can be a little bit complicated. I think I must now. Hmm, why I cannot select this? I would like to get stir. Is he inactive? Yes, sorry dear users, my UV unwrapping was inactive because I didn't select default material. This was, I didn't know this is important. Okay, now if I go to, I already used edge mode, but I have to do once again. I should focus on um, rigid body. Uh, optimal mapping. No, I just wanted to texture my ball. Okay, let's get back to standard. We have to do our Soft body simulation. Uh, this should be a little bit further. If you hold the Ctrl G, these two cubes will appear. Will come up, will appear. It doesn't matter because I use uh, two words which mean similar thing. Which they mean similar thing. Okay, now new tag, simulation tag, soft body. I would like to decrease mass, uh, collision, choose uh, more dynamics because it will give you more realistic shape. Now we will uh, choose a uh, second object. New tag, simulation tag, collider body. Uh, okay. Individual elements. Uh, you, I, 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 I had chosen more dynamics, and I will check. Oh, it because it will gives you very realistic effects. And what I can change bounce, little bit higher friction. And hmm, it doesn't behave like a realistic ball. I don't know what margin means. Considering options, it can be quite tricky. Okay. Because I would like this ball to jump like a realistic ball. Now I just will create a uh, new tag for our third object. Again collider. Uh, collision choose uh, more dynamics and you do the same with next object. 
Collider Boggy More Dynamics More Dynamics is great because it gives you very realistic simulation Collision of uh, each object Collisions of all objects uh, are very realistic They see edges, they detect edges and points More Dynamics is great. Collider, body and again, more dynamics. But one thing I need to find out what to do to make this thing more realistic. What if I choose off? It's not, oh no, I have to make this larger. Okay, I have now... But it's not exactly what I needed. And... What, I, what is to do made of clones? Hmm... Made of polygon lines? Uh, it, it doesn't behave... That... Uh, very realistic. W what is stiffness? Mm, elastic limit. Mm, I don't know really what stiffness. Oh, stiffness! I think this is to do preserving shape of our ball. Oh, now it looks very nice. Yes, beautiful. Very beautiful. Wow. Cinema 4D really impre it really makes me happy again control g make sure you hold control g button before you and then left button of your mouse it's beautiful program in the in blender i didn't test soft body in blender but this program seems to be working okay. Stiffness, I think, is to do with behaving of your body. So it behaves like, um, how do you explain in English? It's a little bit... It's not like balloon, it's like ball for footballers. Okay, now we have got our beautiful animation of our beautiful soft body. We could also add wing object. And this tutorial, I hope you will like this video tutorial. Actually, I haven't finished yet because we have to make our animation. Yes, yes, we completely forgotten about this. <laughs> because if you bake, your frame rate in timeline will be very quick and program does not have to do calculation <laughs> once again. Uh, rel relational mass. I will decrease a little bit. Maybe to number five. Mm, okay. What if what is to do? Apply cargo to children? Compound collision shape? Hmm, I don't know what is to do individual elements. I didn't catch these settings. Margin, I don't know what margin is about. Bounce one ball will be jumping a little bit more. Okay, let's uh, make our simulation. Make all. Making a dynamic simulation. So you could have uh, preview. Oh no, this actually takes 
punctuation a little bit longer. I cannot complain because my PC is capable of doing dynamic simulations. Of course, if I had Ryzen, I got I aim the effects. I say if I had Ryzen CPU, then this dynamic simulation would take quicker. Hey, cinema, what are you doing? I have to finish this dynamic simulation. Do not stop here. Okay, for some reasons, for some reasons, I cannot see this animation to stop. I have to, dear users, try to do at home. If you encounter this problem, press maybe cancel or escape. No, I cannot really stop my video tutorial. What is to the bake object? Because I cha I, cha I had chosen bake object. Maybe I shouldn't do something else during the dynamic simulation process. Because I would like to send my animation. I don't know if Cinema 4D will finish dynamic simulation. Hmm, why this stops here? I must uh, check in render time. If this... Yes, it is visible in render time. You can, you can still render your animation. Because I was worried if I couldn't finish my animation. Hopefully this should be working okay. And now I will add sky. I, I don't really know why simulation couldn't finish. Why I couldn't really finish my simulation. I, I, I was a little bit upset about this. Okay, now I will add my son, if you want, oh no, I have to change position of my sky. You can still manipulate sun, just delete this tag, because you will be able to modify position of your sun. How how does your sun is placed? How does this place? Okay, sun. Click once again to see sun. Okay, where is... Oh yes, Incan City. I cannot see in, her, in viewport. Oh no, oh no, it's not that. I need to change the sky. Yes, probably I have to change sky Incan City. I think um, gamma correction. Check your gamma correction. It should be useful. And after that, you will be able to render animation. 
I don't know why I couldn't finish my Viking simulation including collision data. Check on your own and then you will let me know.